In a replay of the biblical story of Cain versus Abel, two brothers from over the bridge Denry were locked in a fight on Wednesday night, which ended with one brother being fatally stabbed by the other. The deceased has been identified as 24-year-old Donald Joseph, who is described by his family as a persistent tormentor of the family. One member who asked that her identity be concealed says the bullying and harassment by the deceased brother of members of the family have gone on for years with his younger brother, his preferred target. But we have been miserable with that boy, not one year, not two years, not three, not four years going on with that boy doing his brother mystery verse. The mother died already. The child is just like a little... The day before the fatal stabbing, another flare-up by the now deceased brother resulted in his arrest, but he was released the following day. They arrested him and they dropped him yesterday morning. From yesterday morning, he has been everywhere saying he's killing his little brother. So when the night came, the little brother was by the way, where usually doing his little dollar, he told him not to come up here, his brother wants to kill him. A family friend who tried to put peace between the brothers says this was in the making for some time. I just lost my bedroom. Yeah, my partner. My partner, man. The fellas in a little issue. I tell the fellas, finish with that. That issue I'm making sense. Finish with that, done with that. And then the man leave me and then I just let the man die. And that is it. His brother, his brother, yeah. So what, was, what, what, do you do? what do you think is happening? Do you think that thing could have stopped? The fellas have, the fellas had, the, the man, none of them I want to finish with something. None of them I want to finish with a trouble. My tell the fellas finish with that they I want to finish. So now, that one day, and that done, one in the station, my tell them finish with that, they don't want to listen. Finish with that fellas, they ain't making sense. The younger brother, who is only 16 years of age, was told to stay away because of the threat by the deceased Donald Joseph to kill him. But when he returned to his home late Wednesday night, Donald Joseph was waiting. Somebody dropped the little brother right there. When they dropped the little brother there, that same person went and spoke to the other one they killed, tell him to be every self. So that finished there. Sina took her son and her stepson going up to her home. When the one that died took a bottle, break it and run onto his brother to stab his brother. His brother came from by a scene with, uh, with his knife because that's where he woke in and he stabbed him and that was just it. One of the neighbors shares a similar story about the fatal incident. He was saying like his brother looking for him someplace, anywhere his brother gets him, his brother will kill him. As soon as somebody come and drop the little brother by the road, ready to go home, the man came onto him with a, a bottle, ready to kill him, choke him in his belly. From most accounts, this was a disaster in the making. The family is disappointed with the manner in which the Denry police responded to the situation. The double tragedy happened late Wednesday night with the 16-year-old brother fatally stabbing his older sibling in what the family says was an act of self-defense. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.